to all our educators and learners, especially to our participants, good morning. One of the basics in teaching reading is developing phonological awareness. I am Rona Faith D. Hukoy, a kindergarten teacher from Tamban Central Elementary School, East Malungon District. Let us together understand the importance of phonological awareness in teaching beginning reading. After this session, we intended to gain an understanding on how to teach phonemic awareness to be specific. And as we reach our different stations and fields, we will be going to develop materials to help students master phonemic awareness tasks and of course perform phonemic awareness activities for reading instruction program okay let's think what do you know about phonological awareness okay next question what do you want to know about phonological awareness so you may write your answers on your notes so after this session you can check within yourselves if you have meet those expectations so let's try to differentiate what is phonological awareness from phonemic awareness phonological awareness is a broad skill that includes identifying and manipulating units of oral language, while phonemic awareness refers to the specific ability to focus on and manipulate individual sounds or phonemes in spoken words. For example, when we have the word mat, so if we will going to divide the phonemes, that will become m, a, so the word is math. So phoneme is defined as the smallest meaningful sound of a language. So it comes from the word phonemic and it makes difference in its pronunciation as well as its as well as its meaning. For example, when we say t a p we have the word Tap. When we change the final sound into b, it also changes its meaning because the word becomes tab. Okay. Take note, okay, participants, on this slide, we have here an illustration of a child. No, siya ay na baga sumasakit yung ulo niya kasi kahit may 26 letters lang tayo we have 20 vowel phonemes and 24 consonant phonemes a total of 44 distinct sounds so imagine yun yung lahat na dapat malaman ng ating mga learners and dapat nilang ma-master before they are going to read Okay, so on this next slide, we have, here are the 20 vowel phonemes. So the first column refers to the phoneme or sound of a letter. So the letter between the two slashes shows the phoneme or sound, not the letter name. While on the second column, we have some example of words. The third column shows how it is being written. The fourth and the fifth and the sixth column follows. Okay, so let's start with the first column. We have A as in apple. Next, we have E as in elephant. We could also say bread. Next, we have E as in igloo or E as in gym. Next, we have A as in octopus. A as in wash. We have A as in umbrella. Or 
A as in one. Next, we have A as in rain. A as in tray. Next, we have E as in tree. Or E as in me. Next, we have I as in light. Or I as in kite. Next, we have O as in boat. Or O as in bow. Next, we have U as in tube. Or U as in MU. Next, we have the fourth column. For the first phoneme, we have U as in moon. Or U as in screw. We have also O as in book. Or O as in could. Okay, next we have ow as in house or ow as in cow. Next we have oi as in coin or oi as in boy. Next we have r as in star, r as in straw. Next, we have or as in fork or or as in board. Next, we have er as in herb, er as in nurse. Next, we have air as in chair, air as in pear. D then, we have Ear as in spear and ear as in deer. Okay, next we have also 24 consonant phonemes. We have b as in banana, b as in bubbles, k as in car and k as in duck d as in dinosaur and d as in poodle f as in fish and f as in giraffe g as in guitar and as in goggles, as in helicopter, and j as in jellyfish, and fridge, l as in leaf, and l as in bell, m as in monkey, and m as in hammer, n as in nail, and n as in knot, p as in pumpkin, and p as in puppets, r as in rain, and R as in right. Okay, we are finished with our first column. And now let's proceed right away to our fourth column. We have S as in sun and S as in mouse. Then we have T as in turtle and as in little. We have v as in volcano and 
as in van. Or we also have have. Then w as in watch and w as in queen. We have also x as in fox and y as in yo-yo. We have also z as in zip and z as in please. We have also sh as in shoes and sh as in television. We have ch as in children and ch as in stitch. We have also th as mother and th as in thong. And we have the n as in sing and n as in uncle. So we are done with the 44 distinct sounds of both vowel phonemes and consonant phonemes. When we understand that words are made up of sounds, it is what you call phonemic awareness. It deals with speech sounds. For example, k, a, t, for the word cat, and m, a, t, for the word mat. And it refers to the ability to focus and manipulate phonemes in spoken words. So that is phonemic awareness. And phonemic awareness is the prerequisite to phonics instruction. Nursery rhymes, riddles, songs, poems, read aloud, shared reading, being read to, and games stimulate phonemic awareness. So why is phonemic awareness important? Bakit nga ba importante na malaman natin o mabigyan natin ng kaalaman ang mga bata tungkol sa letter sound? Because it helps learners learn to distinguish individual sounds or phonemes within words. And they need these skills to associate sounds with letters and manipulate sounds to blend words, especially in reading. Or when they are spelling, they tend to segment words. So here are the phonemic awareness tasks. And we include also here games and activities for our learners. First, we have the phoneme isolation. It means recognizing individual sounds in words. For example, what is the first sound in the word sun sun yes the first sound is s another example what is the last sound in drum drum very good the last sound is mm. How about what is the middle sound in the word man? Man. Yes, the middle sound or the medial sound is a ah, for the word man. We can have this kind of activity for our phoneme isolation. So I got this from the learning activity sheet in reading remediation. Okay, so the instruction is sing the song in the tune of bingo and let the learner sing it afterwards with accuracy and mastery. So the song goes like this. I have a friend who got a name and Elton is his name, yo. El on elt on elt on elton is his name yo 
Okay, let's sing it together. I have a friend who got a name and Elton is his name, yo. Elton, 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 Elton is his name, yo. Okay, kayo na lang daw, be? Very good. I hope you can practice this. Okay, so as we have observed that in the song, we have five phonemes. So we have five letters in the name Elton, and each letter has its different sounds. Okay, another activity is showing pictures and asking the initial sound or you can have another set of pictures for medial and last sound. So, for the first picture, we have apple. So, what is the first sound in the word apple? Very good. The first sound is ah. Next picture, we have arrow. What is the initial sound for the word arrow? Very good. The initial sound is ah. Next picture, the third one, we have leaf. Leaf. What is the initial sound for the word leaf? Very good. The first sound is l. Now let's proceed. To the fourth picture. The fourth picture is a ladder. Very good. What is the initial sound for the word ladder? Very good. The initial sound or the first sound for the word ladder is l. Now let's proceed to the next picture, the fifth one. Okay, that is a mother. Mother. What is the initial sound for the word mother? Very good. The first sound or the initial sound for the word mother is mmm. Mm. Now, let's proceed to the sixth picture. We have a soap. What is the initial sound of the word soap? Very good. The initial sound is s. Now, for the next picture, we have a pair of socks. Okay, in the word socks, what is the initial sound? Very good. It's s. And now, let's proceed to the last picture. And that is a mango. Mango. What is the initial sound for the word mango? Very good. Mm. The initial sound for the word mango is mmm. Now, let's proceed to the second task. And the second phonemic awareness task is the phoneme identification. It means recognizing the common sound within the different words. For example, which are the same in these words? The first set of words are Bag, bed, bird, box. Now, what are the same in these words? Very good. The first sound, b. Okay, now, let's proceed to the second set of words. We have hop, step. Map and leap. 
which are the same in these words. Great! The last sound, p. Now, here is an example of an activity for phoneme identification. For activity 2, learning activi activity sheet 2, raise your answer. What letter sound is the same? For the first set of picture, we have fire and a fan. We have a fan and a fire. What letter sound is the same? Yes, the first sound now let's proceed to the next set of pictures we have an elephant and an egg now what letter sound is the same we have the first sound a eh. and with the third set of pictures we have a table and a top what letter sound is the same Okay, you're doing right. The first sound, t, t. Now, the third phonemic awareness task is phoneme categorization. Phoneme categorization means recognizing the word with a different sound in a group of three or four words. For example, which word does not belong? We have mat, man, big, mop. Okay, so what? which word does not belong? Yes, it's big because it has a first sound, b, while the remaining three words have m sound in the first letter. So again, the word that does not belong is the word big. Now, another example. We have the words lap, nap, map, and mug. Okay, listen carefully. Here are the words lap, nap, map. And mug, which word does not belong? Very good. It's the word mug because it has a last sound, g, g. Now, here is an example of an activity for phoneme categorization. Name each picture and encircle the one with different first middle or last sound okay you can do this the first set of pictures is or the first set of pictures are heart hammer and a top now which of those pictures or which of those words does it not belong it's the top because it has the different first sound t. now let's proceed to the next set of pictures we have fan top and a cup now which picture does not belong it's a it's the fan because it has different last sound now another example on this on the next slide we have picture sorting we can have for phoneme categorization so uh, in this activity you can instruct your learners or sabihan mo sila na Bigyan mo sila ng mga iba't ibang pictures, then i-group nila kung 
anong pictures yung same sound and different sound. So for this activity, we have an apple, arrow, and a hammer. So which pictures or which objects has the same sound and which has different sound? Okay, so for hammer, it is on the column with different sound. While apple and arrow is on the same sound. Because it has the same initial sound, we have apple, a as in apple, and a as in arrow. While the hammer has the initial sound of ha. So that is for phoneme categorization. Next, phonemic awareness tasks. The fourth phonemic awareness task is the phoneme blending. Phoneme blending means listening to a group of separately broken, separately spoken sounds and combining them to form a recognizable word. Okay, for example, what word is ha, a, t? What word is ha, a, t? Again, what word is ha, a, t? Very good. The word is hat. Okay, next example. What word is m a t? Again, m a t. Okay, once again, m a t. The word is mat. Very good. Next example, what word is f a t? What word is f a t? Again, what word is f a t? The word is fat. We can use multi sensory blending. You can top on your shoulder, then in your arms, then into your hands. So while blending the letter sound, you can tap your shoulder, arms, and your hand. Okay, for the word hat, so for the, for the sound ha, so dito nyo ilagay yung inyong mga kamay. Pagdating sa middle sound, you can put your hands here, your hand here. Then, pagdating sa last sound, pwede nyo ilagay dito yung inyong kamay. So, let's do this. We have ha-a-t. ha a t So, let's blend the sound together. Let's blend the sounds together. ha Again, Hat. Now, for the next example, we have mat. Okay, so paano natin siya itatap? So ganito lang. M, A, T. M, A, T. So we have the word mat. Okay, let's do this together. Mat. Okay, now let's proceed to the third set of phonemes. We have f-a-t, f-a-t, for the word fat. Excellent! Now, here is an example of an activity for phoneme blending. So the instruction is, Match the correct word you hear from the sound that your teacher will going to say corresponding to the picture given. So the first picture is 
Okay, let's guess. What's the first picture? Okay, what word is <sighs> eh, n? Okay, let's say it together. <sighs> eh, n. Okay, can you say the sound of each letter? <sighs> eh, n. So the name of the picture is hen. Okay, for example, num for item number two, we have the word b, a, g, b, a, g. So, what's the name of the picture for item number two? Yes, it's bag. Now, let's proceed to item number three. What word is E -d. B -e -d. Yes, the picture is bed or the name of the picture is bed. Now, let's proceed to item number four. What word is j -a -r. J -a -r. Yes. The name of the picture is jar. Then for item number three, a uh, number five, I mean, what word is k? A -r -t. What word is k? A -r -t. So that corresponds to the pic to the name of the picture. So the name of the picture is cart. Another example of an activity for phoneme blending is spell and write. So we have set of pictures on the first column. Then on the second column, we have rumble letters. So that also corresponds to the name of each picture. For item number one, we have uh, this rumble letters. So the learners will arrange these letters to form the word. So the fifth phonemic awareness task is the phoneme segmentation. So it means breaking a word into its sound by tapping out or counting the sounds or by pronouncing or positioning a marker for each sound. For example, how many sounds or phonemes do you hear in bell? How many sounds or phonemes do you hear in the word bell? Okay, so let's segment the word. It's b, e, and l. Or we can do the clapping. We have b, e, l. Again, Eh, uh. So, how many times do you clap your hands? Okay, very good. That's third time. So, we have three sounds for this word. We have B, E, eh, L uh, for the word bell. How many sounds or phonemes do you hear in the word ship? Ship. So when you segment this word, we have sh, e, p, sh, e, p. Okay, so we have three sounds. And lastly, last example for the word check. How many sounds or phonemes do you hear? We have ch, e, k. Again. Okay, we have three sounds or phonemes. Another example for the word van. Okay, let's segment the word properly. We have v, a, n. Again, v, a, n. 
So we have three sounds or three phonemes for the word van. So here is an example of an activity for phoneme segmentation. The instruction is, identify the given picture and tell how many sounds do you hear. For, the, for item number one, we have, we have hen. For item number two, we have cart. For item number three, we have bird. So let's go back to item number one. How many sounds do you hear in the word hen? So when we segment the word, we have e, n. We have three sounds. For item number two, we have the word cart. So we have k, a, r, t. Again, we have k, a, r, t. So we have four distinct sounds. For item number three, we have the word bird. So how many sounds do you hear? So we have b, e, r, d. Again, b, e, r, d. So we have four sounds for the word bird. Next, we are down to our last phonemic awareness task and that is phoneme manipulation so under phoneme manipulation we have three types so we have phoneme deletion for example what is smile without the s okay so phoneme deletion means stating the word that remains when a speci specified phoneme is removed so what is smile without the s so when we segment the word smile smile the first sound is s okay what word it be what word will it be when we remove the s sound yes it becomes Mile. Very good. How about for the word spark? Spark. Okay, when we remove the s sound in the beginning, okay, the word or the new word is park. Okay, another example, we have the word plot. So when we remove in the beginning, the word becomes lot. Okay, another example. What is spot without the S in the beginning? Okay, spot becomes pot. Here is an example of an activity for phoneme deletion. So, in learning activity sheet, for activity 2, this is the instruction. Read the words inside the box. Let the tutee fold the last letter of the underlined word and ask them to read the new word. For example, the word is wand. Okay, when we remove the d sound, it becomes one. Okay, next... Okay, we have the word tape. When we remove e, the word or the new word is tap. Okay, then when we have the word veto, when we veto, when we remove o, we have the new word vet. Okay, so the next type for phoneme manipulation is the phoneme addition. It means stating the word that is formed when a specified phoneme is added. For example, what is spot with an S at the beginning? So what is spot with an S at the beginning? 
So the word becomes spot. Okay. So this is an example of an activity for phoneme addition. We have the for the next slide we have the word wheel. Okay. So make a word wheel and we have here the at family. If we have if we add it will become fat. Okay, if at will be added with r, it becomes rat. And then when at is being added with s, it becomes sat. Okay, so you can do this with your learners. Okay, the next type for phoneme manipulation is phoneme substitution. It means stating the word that is formed when a specified phoneme is substituted. Okay, example, what will become of house if you change to hmm? Okay, so the answer is mouse. Very good. So for example, another example, what will become of what will become of fin if you change f into p? Okay, the word will become pin. So here is, an here is an example of an activity for phoneme substitution. So the instruction is substitu substituting letters. So with your flashcards, read each word and let the tutti follow after you. Explain the meaning of each word afterwards. So, what is bag if you replace a into a? So, the word bag becomes bog. Next, what is rat if you replace a into a? So, rat becomes rot. Okay, another example of an activity for phoneme substitution. Okay, the instruction is replace the middle sound with the vowel O or A to form a new word that matches the picture. Ask the tutti to read all words afterwards. So, for example, in the word cat, you, if we replace a into a, so we have the new word, cut. Okay, so this is just an example for phoneme substitution. Okay, so isn't it exciting to teach reading? Yes, it's challenging to teach reading. But okay, remember that in developing phonemic awareness, we are also developing their listening comprehension. So learners should know how to listen carefully. So usually kasi dito sa phonemic awareness, we will be using only pictures or we can do oral activities for our learners. So let us recall. So phonemic awareness is understanding that words are made up of sounds or phonemes. So how many phonemic awareness task okay we have six phonemic awareness tasks these are first phoneme isolation then phoneme identification followed by phoneme categorization phoneme blending phoneme segmentation and phoneme manipulation so under phoneme manipulation we have three types the phoneme addition phoneme deletion, and phoneme substitution. So in addition, for the next slide, the, this is an example of an alkaline boxes. Okay, this is an instructional method used in order to build phonological awareness. Or to be specific, we have the phonemic awareness by segmenting words into individual sounds. So for the first picture we have, for example, we have ship. 
So, tatlong boxes lang yung nandyan kasi may tatlong sound lang siya. So, we, may tatlong distinct sounds lang siya. So, we have the sh, e, then p. So, we have the ship. Then, next picture, we have the fish. So, we have also three distinct sounds or three distinct phonemes. Then, we have sun, we have a cat, a hat, and a can. So, we can use this kind of activity for our learners in teaching phonemic awareness. Okay? So, after hearing all those things about phonological awareness or phonemic awareness, these are the questions that we need to reflect. Okay? First, what kind of strategy are you using in teaching letter sound? Okay, kasi noon sa amin, yung ginagamit sa amin, yung A, E, I, O, U. So, doon kami natutong magbasa una-una. So, dahil doon, uh, nal uh, nalaman namin paano uh, ipantig-pantig yung mga words. Okay, so, how about you? Okay, how about you participants? What kind of strategy are you using in teaching letter sound? And, how useful it is. Okay. Um, yung bang gamit mo na strategy ay pagdating ba talaga ng ating mga learners sa uh, grade 1, eh, na-master niya lahat ng mga letter sound? And do you find it effective? Oo, effective ba, ba yun? Okay, kasi uh, sa amin noon, nung grade 1 pa kami, uh, tinuturuan kami ng A, E, I, O, O. So, and of course, um, natuto din naman kaming magbasa. Okay. So, for our second reflection question, what do you think is the importance of phonemic awareness in teaching beginning reading? Okay. So, I believe you have your own responses for all these questions. So, uh, I know that your answers will be your guide in becoming a great leader in teaching beginning reading. Okay, so let us always remember that reading is the gateway skill that makes all other learning possible. Quoted from a great leader, Barack Obama. So, thank you for listening and thank you for bearing with us. Uh, I hope you have learned something. God bless and good day.